I've not, but I probably shouldn't admit that because I'll, uh, I'll get a bit of stick. But no, it's brilliant. It's uh, it's always it's obviously making quite a lot of waves, and I don't know how long ago the song was released, but you not know, as if we could get number one in two thousand and sixteen. You've been involved in a, a lot of big battles um, since you've come to the club, but is this the battle that everyone's talking about, Christmas number one? It looks like it. I, I know the Little Mix fans aren't very happy, but uh, it is a very catchy song. Uh, I was on loan at Blackpool a couple of years ago, and that was their song as well, so it's, it's one that stuck in the head. But it was it was, it was was fantastic. The, the fans were in full voice and, and, uh, on Friday singing it, and... It's another sellout, three, uh, three, three home sellouts in a row on Saturday, so I'm sure we'll be hearing that again. How's Joey responding to it? He's, uh, he's pretty calm about it, to be fair. Uh, but the way I see it, it could be a, you know, a, a Joe Garner number one on Christmas, so I don't know if he's going to be so calm about it then, because he his, his phone might start ringing off the hook. Can you give us a wee, a wee blast of it just now? Can we? I've, no, I've not got the voice for it. <laughs> Has he been getting much stick in the dressing room from you guys about it? It's, I mean, I don't think there's any stick to be had. It's not really him that's... Uh, you know, it's chucked up too much about it, but it's brilliant. We're all having a good laugh about it. And like I said, it's a catchy song. I've been singing it myself on the way to training. No, I'm not going to sing it by the way now, but I, I have been singing it. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's very, very catchy. But I mean, it's, it's, it's madness at the same time that it's got potential to be number one. But, you know, who knows? You'll see. He, he's not going around the dressing room making sure everybody's downloaded it and, and bought it. He's not. Harry Forrester is, but Harry Forrester is. I've noticed that. He's, I think he's more keen than anyone to get it number one. <laughs> he's off now. He's off. Mark, have you downloaded uh, Dave Clark 5 yet? I'm not sure my kids may have done, but I certainly haven't, no. <laughs> so you're not backing Joey Garner for, for Christmas on that? I'd love to see it, but as I say, that's a, that's a side issue, that one. We'll, we'll move on from there. It's the battle that, that everyone's talking about, so where do your allegiances lie with this one? Is it Little Mix or is it I've Joe got a son and a daughter, so it's a huge, it's a huge contest. <laughs> and I have to think very carefully about a very astute response. So right now I sit right on the fence if that's okay with you. <laughs> What does it say about the way that the fans have taken to, to Joe though? I mean, it's yeah. fantastic. I, I, all joking apart, um, you heard the singing at the back in at Hamilton, you heard the, the ovation he received at Ibrox. And um, as I said, you know, three or four weeks ago, there were some derogatory comments about Joe Garner. There's never any doubt about his quality. And um, all credit to Joe for the way he's adapted to the style of play and the demands of playing at a club like Rangers. All credit to his teammates for working, you know, Joe's strengths and, and playing towards it. So. The last three games I've seen good performances, we found solutions to problems that have been posed and delighted for Joey settling in, he's enjoying his time at Rangers I hope, I'm sure, and uh, I think he gets better and better from here.